Hey farm fans, nice sunny day out here. Temperature is uh, well, going to be close to 70 today, which is kind of unusual for us in the mountains up here in March. And we're not even quite to mid-March. Normally we should have coats and hats and be plowing snow, so I guess that's global warming for you, but uh, I'm not going to complain. So today we're going to be working over here in this area where we've done quite a few other projects. We're going to be moving our mulch bins over here. As you can see, yesterday we moved the stone bins over. All those big blocks there. The first bin here, we have number threes, those are twos. And the last is a 2RC, which the bin is empty right now. Uh, that is that kind of modified, it's the stone with the stone dust in it that we used over here on this pad. So, um, But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. Moving the uh, those big blocks. So we'll show you some of that today. I won't show you the whole thing because it's like 50 blocks to move. And uh, it's just the same thing over and over, back and forth. But we'll take a couple different shots of it and uh, show you some of that stuff. So uh, we'll get started. Okay, there you are up on my head again. I think the little light's on. Yep, I see it. So let's grab this machine and uh, we'll grab a big block. built them poor 
in here, don't get too dizzy up there. Oh yeah, we're definitely crooked here, aren't we? Put this back on there. Okay, so yeah, what we're gonna do, let me back up here a minute. Is we're gonna have these blocks running along this edge. You can kind of see where I packed it in with the machine. That's our line we're gonna follow. So once I have my spotter here a little bit later to help me, I'll get all these in line so I'm not going to show putting them all in because it's going to be all day but I'll give you a couple updates along the way so you can kind of see what things are looking like um, so I'm going to shut this off for a minute put you on the tripod and go get another one okay there you go I'm going to go grab another block and come back and we're going to set it right here in front of you so give me just a minute Well, there you go I will give you an update uh, as we get more of these in place like I said I don't want to film the whole thing you'll be bored to death but I'll give you a, an update later on in the day so I'll catch up with you then all right hey it's lunchtime glad for that because I'm hungry I thought I'd show you what we've been working on here it's taken all morning 
but we got let's see you were with me when we put in that one and that one and we've been working since then so we got two of our bins done here and after lunch we'll hopefully the rest of the day we'll get the other two bins in they're going over this way we're just going to kind of keep going around the bend here a little bit um, so we'll show you that after but uh, yeah so that's that's what we've been working on that's our update and we'll catch you a little bit later in the day well welcome back farm fans it's the end of the day here just thought I'd update you on the progress that we made with those bins but uh, before we do that we had one other good thing happen today the electrician came and gave us a plug for our welder so now we'll be able to do some welding projects so there it is over there in the corner got that done so that's awesome so let's take a walk over here and see our other progress that we made today trip over the skid steer here so yep I showed you let's see it was around lunchtime that we had gotten the first couple bins done here and here is the rest of them they look kind of dirty now you can see the mulch dye on some of them we'll get them filled up here but there is the other two they have the bank is kind of a, a half circle shape so the the bins are uh, I'll show you that are kind of in an odd shape but they'll work out and we had a couple blocks left over so we put them on the edge here so that somebody didn't fall over into the big hole and there's some branches I still got to clean up but if you can see along there the blocks kind of go around the corner because that's just what the bank does and there wasn't much I could do about that unless I wanted to dump 800 loads of gravel in there which I didn't so we kind of worked with what we had also I made sure that I put all of the side walls to the bins. I don't know if you can see that on there. Let me walk down here a minute. I put them all at an angle. Yeah, you can't really see here. I put them all at an angle so that as you, with the building here on this side, it's kind of a tight hole. Let me back up a little more here. So that way, It'll be easy to, you know, back our little trailer right in there. Boop, right in there like that. If you put them straight across, it'd be awful hard to kind of jack the trailer around in there. But So I put them at an angle. Let's take a quick walk over here, and I'll show you the mess <laughs> that was left from us moving the bins. Um, there's a little bit of mulch left over. We used to sell some decorative stone, like colored stones and things, and they were so expensive, people didn't want them. So we kind of quit selling them, and uh, mulch is just a, the most popular thing, the topsoil and stuff too, but I don't know if you'll be able to hear the animals, the goats are in the background, they think it's time to eat, but it's not. So here is the area where the bins used to be, and probably tomorrow we'll put a video together here cleaning this up but you can see there's some mulch stuff and it's all like lumpy dumpy here and there's some of the the gravel the different color ones that would use like for landscaping and stuff if you wanted if you didn't want mulch you wanted something more permanent you could use the stone but so this big old mess here we will work on cleaning that up tomorrow and we still got the uh, trailer out here on the tractor so we'll use that our handy um, off-road dump trailer. The goats are squawking. Here we'll take a walk over and say hi to the goats real quick before we end our video. It's almost our kidding time here, so we'll be having little goat kids. That's what baby goats are called for you people that don't know. They're called kids. Um, but yeah, so it's almost time. And actually, that little girl right there She's one of our mini silky fainters. She is supposed to go first. She's one of the ones due first. So, oh, you can hear the piggies down there. Like I said, everybody thinks it's time to be fed. So we'll come say hi real quick. 
They're ready to go inside. <laughs> Not all of our goats are pregnant. Some of them you can see. That little one there. She's not quite a year old yet, so she won't be bred for a while, but it's a nice day out. And we don't like to put them in too early when it's nice out. If we leave the door open to the barn, even in the nice weather, they'll just go and lay inside the barn. So we have to shut the door during the day, unless the weather's bad. So that way they stay outside and get the fresh air. They're kind of lazy animals that way. And if it's super hot, we leave the door open because we have a fan that blows in there. So, um, But yeah, so got that done and we'll get this mess cleaned up. Oh, my hand's in the way. Sorry about that. And we'll get this mess cleaned up tomorrow. Got to move some remnants of the topsoil pile over there. And then we have our compost right there. So we'll move that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. A little, little more insight to some of the things we do around here. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos. We have some animal videos and some other equipment videos and things. And I don't, be, I don't mean to be uh, looking away from you, but I want to trip.